Hello, welcome to the beginning of this vlog. I don't really know what it's gonna be, but we're about to go on a little walk right now. We did two workouts today, so TBH, I'm just feeling like, I don't know, I feel kind of like nauseous, like you know how I feel when I <laughs> say I lift heavy weights? And we weren't even lifting heavy weights, but I just feel like I really need some fresh air, so we are just gonna take a little walk, like probably five minutes, and it will make me feel a lot better. Got the Ugg boots and the flip flops. <laughs> I like having this um, tripod on here. It makes it easier to hold. Yeah, Can you talk to you us? You look like a true vlogger. How has your your quarantine been? It's been great. You guys, I don't understand. Max is thriving. He's fine because if he could play video games 24 hours a day, he would. So this, he is like yeah. totally fine. And meanwhile, I'm like, I need to go on a walk. I feel like I'm gonna suffocate in here. You know? Nah, crack a window, you'll be good. <laughs> So Max is doing great. Yeah. I've been We've finding been cooking myself. a lot. Yeah, I'm like cook baking. breakfast every morning for everybody. You do, you're such a good breakfast cooker. I keep finding myself like sad or just like down about the whole situation. And I think a lot of it is just like everything being so uncertain. Yeah. But yeah. Also, I want to tell them that now I finally understand the hype about TikTok. <laughs> Because the last two days, I've been addicted. Yeah. They're so funny. My favorite one is this random one. It's not even popular, which I don't know why it doesn't have like six million likes. But it goes like this. Walk a mile in these Louboutins. And he, <laughs> the girl's like that. And she has a rubber band around her ankles with asparagus. <laughs> There's like a piece of asparagus yeah. in the rubber band so it looks like her heel. And the best. Have you seen the one with the really lotion? Funny. No. He does the same thing with the lotion, and he, he's, oh! when he's stepping, and it pumps the lotion on the floor, and then he, <laughs> he falls. falls. Wait, I have seen that one. That's I laugh so hard, and it just reminded me of Natalie so much, and I sent it to Natalie. Is this focusing? Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? I think Hello? so. Hello. <sighs> oh, I feel good. Getting and fresh air. we started Tiger King last night, and we're addicted. And it's so scary. Except we gotta watch the last episode again because I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I. It was the freaking scariest part. I know. We're I just talking like, all I just about like how Don go goes missing, and obviously Carol murdered him. And I just hit a wall, and I was Max was sleeping, and I was like, "Please wake up! I'm so <laughs> scared." <laughs> And I didn't want to watch it, but now I'm so now you're sucked addicted. in yeah. because it's just interesting, but it's scary. Yeah. Like the whole time I watch it, this is me. Yeah. I'm just like, I didn't know any of this was a thing. Like, yeah, crazy. you don't know until you know. I think the lighting is so weird out here. Oh, this is some good lighting. Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Reminder to wash your sheets, people. Because I know you've been in quarantine for two weeks and they could probably use a wash. You guys will not believe Surprise. what <laughs> just happened. Max came out here and was grilling after our walk. And this little girl. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi. This, um, Mom's like this lab. Of this thing. I don't know why. No, don't be. Come here. Oh. It's like freezing cold out. I'm sitting out here in my freaking sports room. Like, she has a collar on. Um, and her tag says Skylar. Hi, sweetie. Watch one of you guys. This is your dog, Skylar, who got out, and I'm just keeping her company. And she seemed cold, so I wrapped her up in a little, in a little blankie. This is how I freaking know I'm ready for a dog. I spring into action. I got her some water. She looked thirsty, probably from her runaway from home. Why did you escape, sweetie? But we called her, her owner, and they're on their way to pick her up. Guys, this is a freaking sign, okay? She just wandered back here on the porch. We got back from our walk. Max started grilling. Don't run away. And she just wandered up these steps. And there was a family with another dog walking. There was like a railroad right there. And they were walking by the railroad. So we were like, oh, obviously like, it's their dog. But they kept walking and we were like, wait a minute. Skylar, don't run away. Come here. Come. She knows your name. She came coming. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a sign. You're such a sweet girl. <laughs> Sorry if this is your dog and I'm just like loving her right now. I love her. She's so cute. Oh, our little visitor, Skylar, come here. Can you sit? Sit. Oh, you're so good. Oh, you know Paw too. You're so good. <laughs> Thank you to whoever's dog this is because we are having a great afternoon. 
Oh, you love attention. Yes, you do. Skylar's owner just picked her up. Two? Okay. And I'm so sad. Hey. <laughs> Max is trying to cook hot dogs. I miss her. Gee, imagine you want if a dog? we. I don't want a hot dog. No thanks. But imagine if we had a doggy to play with all day. That would be so fun. Sign up for Rover. <laughs> Too much TikTok. Do it. <laughs> I've been busy, girl. Have you been <clears throat> editing? Yeah, I'm about to post a video. Ooh. My morning routine video. It turned out really fun. It's funny because most days you're up before me, and in this one, I'm like up vlogging, and you're like, <sighs> you're like still sleeping. <laughs> They don't even realize hey, that, that is like not like usually you're up way before me, but yeah, Max is playing video not games. I am just editing videos, getting some work done. Good morning, you guys. The last thing you saw was I was working on some videos, Max was playing video games, and then pretty much all night we watched Tiger King and finished it, and it was so crazy. I don't even know how else to describe it other than it was like wild like the whole time I watched I'm like like jaw is dropped the entire time so that was really crazy I don't even know how to describe it like I guess I would recommend because it was like you couldn't look away like it was like entertaining but it was like scary and just like I don't know like I just never knew that whole realm of things existed like right as you thought you knew everything it would take like another twist and turn and like murder and like there's just like so much in there Anyway, I feel like everyone is like binge watching the same things right now, like McMillions and Tiger King and whatever, um, since everyone is like stuck inside. And before I go on my run, I just thought this would be a good time to tell you guys about Simple Health. If you don't know what Simple Health is, it's just the best way to get your birth control. And I thought specifically now, this would be a good time to chat about this because you're really not supposed to be leaving your house at all. So I am just extra thankful right now that my birth control gets shipped to me every month. So. Basically, with Simple Health, if you guys haven't seen my videos in the past where I've talked about them, you're just going to fill out an online health profile, a doctor just reviews it and makes sure that you're a good candidate for birth control, and then you can actually pick what like brand, what type specifically of birth control you want to go on, or they can recommend one for you based on your health history and everything that you fill out, and I would definitely recommend having them pick for you, which I know I've said in the past because that's what I did. I just had a doctor doctor recommend for me because everyone's bodies and health history is different um but yeah i just think it is the best most convenient way to get your birth control especially now like i said that you're really not supposed to be leaving and i know it's free with most insurance plans like mine but if you don't have insurance it starts at 15 dollars a month without insurance and i know the annual prescription at free with simple health is usually 20 dollars. but you guys get to try out simple health for free if you go to simplehealth.com gretchen and use my code gretchen at checkout so i would definitely recommend obviously right now being the best time to have your birth control delivered to you you know every month like no interruptions and obviously there's so many reasons you would go on birth control I always feel like I have to say that um, even if you're not sexually active you guys know I started just to help get my period back like I've talked about in videos in the past I know people start um, because if they have really bad period like symptoms if they have really bad cramps if they are having trouble with their skin stuff like that but obviously that's something that you should just talk to, with your doctor about and if i didn't say before obviously clearly this is not in place of routine checkups with your doctor so please make sure that you are doing that and i know the doctors of simple health can prescribe over 100 brands of birth control pill and they will just help pick one that best fits your needs and your lifestyle things like that so yeah i just always think this is so important to talk to you guys about because i think access to insurance and doctors and things like that should never prevent you from getting birth control and yeah again you guys can try out simple health for free if you go to simplehealth.com gretchen use my code gretchen at checkout to try it out for free guys i didn't even tell you about my new workout set how cute is it you guys basically it's so funny how this came about long story short within the last couple months i was just on my explore page and i found like the cutest girl she had the cutest outfits whatever so i followed her and her name is mclean 
Farrell, I want to say that's her last name. Anyway, all I know, her name is McLean. She's so cute. And basically, she has this boutique called Vivacious Fashion. And their clothes are so cute. And one day, she was like, recently, she was like, do you want some pieces? Like, I love your videos. And I was like, oh my god, of course. So, anyway, this is this, like, pink tie-dye little set. And I think it is so cute. So, that's what's going on right now. I was gonna be good this morning. I'm like, I have so much fruit. I'll just eat like fruit and yogurt. And then Max made me a bagel with eggs. And so then I ate an everything bagel and eggs. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's going on. You guys can probably hear Chase getting all set up. Getting all set up. But um, I wanted to tell you. Our little run was great. I feel good. I needed to like warm up a little bit. I don't think I told you guys, but I'm feeling a little sore from all of our Chase bar workouts. I just took off my jewelry too because I feel like when I'm flying around doing bar, I don't want to have jewelry. I should have taken off for my run anyway. But um, yeah, I just switched. I'm going to keep on my leggings. I just put on this sports bra because and I don't know how to describe these other than they're super, super stretchy. Like I'm trying to show you with one hand. See, they're just really stretchy, so um, it was good for running. I feel like I could have used a little more support up top because it's just really thin and stretchy and comfy. And I honestly didn't know how the leggings were going to be working out, but the, they stayed up really well, and that's, like, my number one thing. I hate when leggings fall down. And a girl commented to my Instagram asking if they, like, sucked you in. And I don't say that, I wouldn't say that they really, like, suck you in. I just think they're really stretchy and cozy, but they do stay up. So I thought they were good for running. Um, but I do feel like I like more, like, compression, some support type stuff up top. So that's why I'm just going to put on this weight one for a little bar class right now. And... I'm so excited. I know there's so many of you guys in this one um, because Chase was like, oh my God, so many girls were telling me that they were new or they came from your video or whatever. So this is going to be so fun. showered after my bar class and we are making a cake everyone mm. for fun oh and i was just so proud of myself because you can see i still have my mascara on from before the shower which is like i know kind of gross but whatever um i just didn't feel like taking it off and dealing with it and putting it back on or anything like that and max saw this tweet one time did you show it to you or send it to me or something mm -hmm. i don't remember but it's so funny i was like wait that's so accurate this girl had like the most perfect eye makeup i feel like she had eyeshadow probably the lashes like everything and she wore goggles in the shower <laughs> to keep her eye makeup on i'm like literally mood but um i just tipped my head back like this and try not to get too much water like water still gets in my face and my eyelashes get wet see and then like it kind of comes off after but it's still pretty intact so because i do not wear waterproof eye makeup but anyway we're gonna make a cake so bad <laughs> while our cake is cooking <laughs> we've been snacking queens i feel like just being at home all day <clears throat> so you guys can relate like the kitchen is so accessible and we're having early dinner so we're having early dinner well kind of oh well yeah like every night you mean because we kind of eat at like <laughs> six mm -hmm. um but i really like so it i kind of skipped lunch today i had oh i didn't really well, I made yogurt and granola. Oh, I saw it. And berries. I saw it in that sink. Not clean. <laughs> oh, what is... Oh, your hair is wet. <laughs> He's like, what's you, getting on me? I thought you had sour cream on your sweatshirt. <laughs> no. He goes, is the dishwasher broken? Sorry. I thought it was. It's a bad habit of mine. I feel like I've always... wanted to be better at putting my stuff in the dishwasher. 
and I always let the sink pile up. I mean, not really. It depends. You just know if you put it in the sink, someone else will do it for you. No, no, no. Like in my apartment, I would just let it pile up when I was there alone because I'm like, I know no one else will like take care of it and I'll just like do a big dish party later when really I should just like be doing it as I go and it would be easier. Are you guys like me? Anyway, what I wanted to show you right now, Max's mom will be so happy that I'm showing you. She made a homemade hand sanitizer and I wanted to tell you guys because if you wanted to make your own, I remember what she said, but I looked up a recipe <laughs> on Google. It's rubbing alcohol, aloe vera, and um, you can do any essential oil. So obviously they just had like rubbing alcohol and aloe vera here. And then I think she did peppermint oil, she said, right? Because she just had like essential oils laying around. And at first we were like, what the heck? And you and Chase were like, oh my God, no. Cause it smells like really strong, but I love the way it smells. It smells so good. And we just, <laughs> the, I think the spray is kind of messed up. It kind of like flies in the air. Have you yeah. noticed? Uh -huh. But um, it smells, ooh, it smells really strong at first. Cause of the rubbing alcohol, but it smells so good and minty. And I know so many places are out. So you guys should make your homemade hand sanitizer and like, Tag me in your story or something because I think that could be fun. And oh, yeah, just pour all your ingredients into a bowl, mix with a spoon. And also, something else Max's mom made a run to Trader Joe's yesterday and she got the yummiest little treats. If you guys remember, I don't know if I've ever showed these in a video, but me and Taylor used to live off of these. They're the yummiest, just little strawberry licorice dudes i feel like i've talked about these in videos and then these i like recently got introduced to me and max love the red ones they taste exactly like what are those things called swedish fish swedish fish so if your mom is making the runs to trader joe's tell her to get these <laughs> oh goodness did i even tell them that we started watching harry potter the other day probably not i don't think i did i wasn't i wasn't vlogging that day but my blanket is it brown Aw, that's so cute. Um, you're just browned out. Brown sweatshirt, brown blanket. <laughs> Let me guess where you went to school. Brown! Yeah, not be you. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I went there too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, what was I telling them? Oh yeah, one of Max's, probably his favorite movies ever are Harry Potter movies. Mm -hmm. Which one out of all, all of, them. of them? No, which one is your favorite? Oh, it's hard. Probably half blood prints. We just watched the first one together the other day, and I like remember bits and pieces here and there. I probably watched them separately, like growing up, or like parts of them, but I don't really remember. And I've never been a fan. And I know all of you that are Harry Potter fans are like so mad at me right now. But that's why we're gonna have a marathon and watch all of them. No better time than being in quarantine. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking about watching all of them together. I think since like last Christmas break. So <laughs> we're finally doing it. Starting number two right now, even though our cake is going to get ready to come out in six minutes. So then we'll frost it. I'm so excited. We've been making so many treats. I love it. Mm -hmm. What did we make last night? Oh, brownies. brownies. I didn't even... Did I show them? I didn't even show them that. We've just yeah. been big, big bakers. We've been eating lots of junk, but I've been doing lots of bar. So it like evens out, right? I'm so sore. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Chamber of Secrets time. Harry Potter is putting us to sleep. Not me, I'm wide awake. No, you are falling asleep I'm too. I'm wide awake, I know exactly what's going on. Oh, I've had that, but I'm so sleepy. Uh, we're almost, we're only almost halfway through. <laughs> These movies are just so long. Like normally a movie is like an hour and a half, you know, and this one's literally three hours. We're on number two. I was about to say Sorcerer's Stone, that was the first one. This one's Chamber of Secrets. Um, but what do you guys think? Is Harry the... What is it called? The heir of Slytherin? Is he the heir of Slytherin? Can someone tell me? I guess I'll finish the movie before <laughs> this is up. You know, don't you? I want to know. <laughs> well, yeah, I he, hope I know. <laughs> he must be. He speaks snake language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, we need to go frost our cake. It's been drying. You know what, I need to be careful because my hair was wet and I was laying on it while I was drying all crinkled and sometimes it turns out like cute wavy but sometimes it just gets like fluffy and bumpy so I probably should have 
thought that one through. <laughs> Guys, our cake turned out so yummy looking. I'm so excited. Now we frost her. Okay, not to toot my own horn, you guys, but this is the best looking cake ever. How is it? The frosting. Delicious. Did you just lick it all off? Licked it clean. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna end off the vlog here because usually it's getting late into the afternoon now and I get really bad at vlogging at night because we usually all just hang out, have dinner. I'm so happy that you guys have been liking Scategories. If you guys don't know Scategories, it's like, one of my favorite games and my family would always play it growing up so i'm so happy that i brought this with me when i came down to the cave because we have been playing so much category and i didn't think max's family was gonna like it as much as me but chase loves it and yeah it's so weird that it's quiet right now because chase always has her bar classes in there but she's done for the day and like went on a walk so now it's like quiet what did you do? Did you put frosting on a brownie? Put frosting on a brownie. Because <laughs> we made brownies. We're so bad with our treats. <laughs> but like, doesn't this look so good? Anyway, thank you guys for watching this vlog. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.